Um, so good game today. I'm really happy to walk away with a win. I think Binghamton was a great opponent, and they showed a lot of fight throughout the entire game, which was awesome and a great test for us. Um, but like I said, happy about a win, really happy to play um, pretty much every player on our team today and uh, walk away with a good win. Hey Natalie, this question is for you. Um, for you to get your first goal this season and kind of to get two goals off of kind of the same free position layout, how does that feel? I think it feels awesome. I mean, everyone wants to score their first goal, so I was really trying not to rush it. And I think the help of my teammates boxing out, I was able to get open on those eight meters and just finish the ball. Megan Carney, this is your third straight game. You've scored the first goal for SU within 90 seconds of the opening draw. So can you just talk a little bit about your energy and excitement level just entering the game? Um, yeah, I think it's just a coincidence. Um, I mean, every game is exciting. And I don't know, it just so happens to be that way. It's not like planned or anything. But yeah, it, it just keeps happening, I guess. Uh, Megan, another one for you. Do you feel like, you know, you've scored four goals in each of the first three games. Do you feel like you're getting more looks on offense this year, like your teammates are finding you more, or are you just hitting more good shots? Um, I think our offense this year is just a lot of off-ball movement, and so I have great teammates playing beside me that just feed me the ball, and it's a perfect pass, and I just try and um, convert to a goal. So just being able to be open for them, it just seems to work out. <laughs> Delaney, you didn't have to face that many shots in the first half. What can you say about your defense in that first round? Um, I think our defense stayed consistent throughout the entire game and just our mental focus um, coming into this game and knowing that Binghamton's going to be a strong team and just be ready to take shots. Um, but we were able to stop the ball and just be ready for when they did come down. Natalie, can you bring me through what you saw on that assist you had to Emma in the third quarter? Um, I mean, I think we just were moving the ball really well. We're trying to look for those inside looks, and I think it was just right time her defender slid off of her, and she was wide open, so I just hit her in the middle. Okay. Thank you. I think 10 turnovers in the first half, only five in the second, so you really cut down on those. Were there any specific adjustments that you guys made, or did you just play cleaner half? Uh, we talked about at halftime just playing with more intensity. I think it was like um, a little, little bit half speed out there throughout the first half, and we talked about making an adjustment at halftime, and I thought the girls definitely responded to that and came out and played with more intensity, and I think Sierra was definitely a spark for us out of halftime, and um, you know, just able to get a little bit more in a groove so we can limit some of those turnovers and finish more plays. So 13 free position shots against Maryland last game. We talked about you wanting the team to mitigate those opportunities. Uh, what do you think about their efforts today against Binghamton? Um, yeah, I mean, I think we limited, I think, I think they were here, one for seven on uh, free position shots. Uh, that was a, you know, part of it. I mean, we really tried to cut down fouls, and we had zero yellow cards today, which is something we were trying to do, um, which I'm really happy about. Uh, you had 11 different players score. What does that say about the versatility of your offense? Um, we had 11 people score? Wow. Wow. Um, <laughs> Um, it's awesome. That's great. I mean, we want to move the ball. The, the girls are playing really unselfish and, um, you know, trying to find that extra pass. So that's awesome. I mean, today's a great day where you can play a lot of people and a lot of different people contributed. So I'm happy to see that. Uh, Coach, this is the first time you played a non top five opponent this season. How is it preparing for Binghamton versus Western America? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, these games are really difficult when you have such a close turnaround. So playing this Friday, Monday, it's hard. You know, they were off Saturday, had one practice to prepare. A lot of it is trying to prepare your body. So 
Um, you know, it, it prepares us for the postseason and getting ready for, you know, ACC tournament and NCAA tournament where it, it is really close turnarounds. And you want to schedule games like this to prepare yourself for uh, the end of the year. And it's difficult. It's hard. It's, it, you know, it's definitely physically hard trying to prepare your bodies. But, um, you know, that's why we schedule it. And, you know, they got to be mentally and physically prepared for when they have these close games and um, something that we're talking about. And, you know, it's early early in the season, but it's a good learning experience for us. What was that conversation like during halftime? Just you guys came out in the third period and they were scoreless throughout the third period. And then obviously they went on the 6-0 run in the, in the final one. What was the halftime conversation in terms of like better defense um, and allowing them to hold for that whole third period? Uh, I just think we had the ball a little bit more there and didn't have as many turnovers. Um, like in the first quarter, we had nine turnovers, second quarter, five, third, one, right? So like we were just taking care of the ball, running better offense, playing with more intensity. We talked about ball movement a lot. Um, you know, and, I, and I'm, I'm glad they were able to make that adjustment um, offensively because we definitely needed it. And, um, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't perfect, it wasn't our best, but I'm glad that they responded out of half. Coach, like you said, you cleaned up the penalties um, today opposed, as opposed to your game against Maryland. But what takeaways do you have from today's game to go to Pittsburgh to open ACC play? Yeah, actually, uh, Pitt and Binghamton just recently played. They play, um, you know, some diff similar different styles of how they play defensively. That You know, they play a zone as well. And uh, we haven't seen a zone yet this season before Binghamton. So just kind of, you know, trying to get into the – into the groove as we go, but we're excited to open up our ACC play. Um, it's really exciting. The ACC conference is, you know, far and away the best lacrosse conference in the country, and we're excited to get going. Um, so Binghamton finished with six unanswered goals. How do you prepare to prevent that, or how did, what does that say about the, the challenges that they provided? Yeah, I mean, they just showed a lot of resiliency and fight, and, you know, they fought all the way to the end, and they, you know, they scored six quick in a row. I mean, I, I, you know, it's unfortunate and, you know, we can help the players out more, I think, as a coaching staff, you know, myself just trying to help them be more prepared when they, when we do um, put in our substitutes. So I would say that's a, you know, coaching mistake of ours, but of mine, but, um, you know, I think helping the players more, but, you know, credit to Binghamton. They kept fighting and they kept putting the ball in the back of the net and, um, you know, they didn't give up, which is, you know, what you hope for as a coach. So a lot of credit to Binghamton. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.